All right, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna show you how to do a NACIS checklist for the catalog. So I'm gonna go step by step and I'm gonna be sharing my screen so you can easily follow this. And if you have any questions about your ISS or your NACIS accreditation or your school, uh, make sure that you email millionairebarber at gmail.com or send a text and just say school to 615-496-3977. Okay, this is the NACAS checklist, uh, Emissions Policy and Procedures, Catalog Requirements and Checklist. You must have this for your ISS. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through this with you and show you how to do this step by step. So basically, we need to go to our catalog and we have to show in the catalog where each one of these sentences is located. So basically, this is saying that the catalog is taught in English. So we have to go to our catalog and put a number one. So we're going to go to our catalog and we got to find where it's taught in English. So we'll scroll down on the catalog and we're going to look and we're going to see where it says it is taught in English right here. So we just passed it. So what we're going to do here, we're going to put a number one. So we're going to put a number one right there. All right. So add text, this is Adobe Acrobat. So there's the number one, okay? Now, so I wanted you all to see how this works. Now, we need to see what page this is on. It's on page two of the catalog. So we're gonna go back to the catalog checklist and we're gonna put a number two here, all right? So that's how we're gonna do that. So we will put, um, add text, put a number two here. Now, name and address of the institution where it's located. Um, now, so we got to go to the catalog and we're going to put a number two there. So let's look for the name and address right here. And we can put a number two here. Now, what page is this on? This is on page one of the catalog. So we're going to go back to the checklist and we're going to put a number two here. See, let me show you. In the catalog, that's number one. So we got to go back here to the checklist and we got to change this to page one. All right. Now, date of publication. So we need to go there and look for the date of publication. And we're going to put a three there. All right. So here, go here find the date of publication, which is right here. So we're gonna put a number three here, and this is number one. So we will put a number one here, school's mission statement. We're gonna put a number four there. So we're gonna to go to the mission statement, and the mission statement is right here. What page is it on? It's on page three. All right, so we know that it's on page three. So the mission statement, we're gonna put number four here, go back to the checklist, it's on page three. All right, admissions requirements, all right? So now we have to go to admissions requirements and we're gonna put a number uh, five by admissions requirements. So here, go to the catalog, Go down, we're looking for admissions requirements. Okay, there's admissions requirements right here. So we're gonna put a number five. What page is it on? It's on page four. So we're gonna go here and we're gonna put a number four. Now, admissions requirements used by the institution state how training or education is received from another institution. Okay, so that's basically transfer hours, six. So we're gonna look for transfer hours, which is right here. We'll put a number six, page four. We'll mm -hmm. go back here and we're gonna put page four. Going down, admissions requirements uh, used by the institution state, whether they allow students to re-enter the program. So that's the re-entry. So that's gonna be number seven. Go here, there's re-entry, number seven. And that's on page four. So we will go. Right here, page four. The name of each course and program and the nature, level, occupation. 
All right, so that's number eight. And we're gonna to go to our catalog right here. And the name of each program, we're gonna look for that. And we're gonna put a number eight, which is right here. There's the name of each program right here. Number eight, what page is this? This is page four, as you can see. Go here, put a number four. Now, the length, of course, in program total clock hours, credit hours, all of that. So that's number nine. So now we have to go find number nine. Okay, so we got to put number nine. Um, we're going to put number nine right here. But this is uh, for page, this is all of the programs that they offer. So that's going from page 12. And it's going to be several pages because that's the cosmetology program, but they offer a lot of programs. Um, we're scrolling down. This is aesthetics program. They still offer more programs than that. So that's going to be page 12 through. Uh, we're down to still going past aesthetics. Keep going, keep going, keep going. The nails course, we gotta go to the very end. Keep going, instructors course. We're down to about page 24. Now we're going to 25, we're on page 26. We're going to page 27, 28, okay. So that's basically page 12 to 28, all right? So now that's going from 12 to 28. So we'll switch back here and we'll type 12 to 28. Now, description of the institution facilities. So we're gonna go here, go to the catalog. We're gonna go where it talks about the facilities. And that's going to be coming up. So we're looking for the facilities where they're talking about how the school looks. There it is, facilities and equipment. Go back up. Because we just passed that. Which is right there, facilities and equipment. So if we look here, that's 10. So we go here. And we will put a 10 right here. And the page, we're going to look at the page. The page is four. So we'll go here. We'll type a number four in. Now the grading system. We're going to look for the grading system. All right. And that's going to be 11. So we'll go here. We'll look for the page. We're going to look for the grades right here. which is 11, what page is this? Five, so we'll go here, put a number five. Next, graduation requirements. We're gonna put a 12 there. So we'll go here, graduation requirements, 12, page five. So we'll put five here. Next, type of certificate, that's gonna be 13. So they get a diploma, so we'll put 13, page five. So we'll go here, go to five. Next, refund policy. So now we gotta go to where the refund policy is located and we're gonna put a 14. So we'll go here, we're gonna scroll until we get to the refund policy, all right? So we'll put 14 on the refund policy, and this is page seven. If you go down, you'll see page seven. All right, so now go here, put page seven. Next, employment assistance. So we wanna look to see where employment assistance is. So this is 15, we'll go to the catalog, 
and we will look for employment assistance. So we'll scroll through our catalog <clears throat> until we see there's employment assistance, page five. All right, so we'll put 15 right here. We'll go here, put page five. Next, school calendar, 16. So we're gonna go here, look for school calendar, and we're gonna put 16. All right, go on down. Here it is. All right, so we will put page 16, school calendar. So it's 16. And what page is this? This is page four. So we'll go here. Page four. Now, right here, statement of tuition does not discriminate. Institution doesn't. 17, go to our catalog. We'll look for where it doesn't discriminate. Right here. 17, this is page five. So we'll put five right here. Next. 18 for the name of owners. That's toward the beginning of the catalog. Name of owners. Right there. There it is. 18. What page is this? Page one. Go here. Page one. Guaranteeing the right to access as 19. So go down. And we're going to put 19 where they're guaranteed access. So we're going down, going past admissions. Next page, right to access. There it is. So that's going to be on page five. Okay, so we're going to go back up here, page five. So that's going to be right here. And we're going to put 19. Page five. Releasing information. Go back. So that'll be 20, which is right here. Page five. Okay, scholarships, they don't have those, so that's NA. We're going to the next page. Career counseling, we're going to look for that. Housing, so that's going to be 22. So we're going here. We will look for housing, counseling services, any help services, which is right here. Okay, so here we're going to put 22. What page is this? Page six, as you can see. So we'll put six here. Names, address. This is of uh, the state board, which is 23. <clears throat> so we're going to put 23 over there. So we'll go to the beginning of the catalog. Okay, the different agencies. So here is where we're going to put number 23. We're coming down and we will put 23 right here. It's gonna go right there. So go up. 23, what page is this? Page one. Go back. Right here, page one. Any material facts concerning institutional program instruction? We're gonna put 24 right there. So we'll keep going. We're gonna go to the next page. 
So we'll go here. We'll put 24 right here. So we'll scroll it down. And 24 will go right here. What page is this? Page four. So we'll go here to page four. Scroll on down. Policies related to tardiness. Now we're going to go to the catalog. Policies related to the tardiness. So what we're going to do, we'll go to the catalog. This is where we get into the rules and regulations. So we're going to go toward the end to the rules and regulations. Scroll on down. Keep going to the rules and regulations. Keep going. So at the top, we're going to put 25 right there. And this is page 29 and 30 because there's two pages. So we'll go here and we will put 29 and 30. Next thing, tardiness, that's going to be 25A. So we'll go back over here for 25A, which is going to be tardiness. So 25A is down here. We're looking for tardiness, which is right here. So 25A, and that's on page 30. Okay, so what you're going to do, you're going to go back to where it says tardiness. Right here. And you're going to put 30. Now we're looking for excuse and unexcused absence. So that's going to be 25B. So you go here, 25B, and we'll go up here, which is right here. So 25B, and that's on page 29. So you'll put 29 here. We're looking for makeup work, okay? So now makeup work is gonna be 25C, all right? So let's go here. We're looking for makeup work. Makeup work is going to be 25C. So we'll scroll down. Here it is right here. So that's 25C, page 30. So we'll put 30 right here. Then conduct, which is D. Okay. So we're looking for conduct. And let's go for that. So that's going to be uh, 25D. All right, so let's go down there, 25D, go over here. And we're looking for conduct, 25D. So here's conduct right here. So put 25D, it's page 29. So go here, put 29. Now, termination is going to be 25E. So let's look for 25E about students uh, termination. So let's go here and let's look right here. If you look there, you see that this is termination 25E. So now that's page 29. So let's go here, termination 29. Next, other rules and regulations, which is 25F. So we will put that over here. 25F, other rules, regulations, we'll put that at the top right here, 25F, okay, so 25F, that is going to be down here on page 29, so we'll go here, and we'll put 29, now, administrative staff and faculty. So we're gonna put 26. So let's go find that. 
So that's basically the employees, the instructors, the workers. That'll be toward the beginning. So we'll scroll down. Scroll on down. And we'll put 26. So 26 is going to be right down here. OK? 26. And this is page one. So we'll go there. We'll put page one. Now, cost for each program. We have to go here. So that's going to be 27. It's toward the end of the catalog. I think it's the last page of the catalog, which is page 31, okay, there it is right there. Okay, so that's page 31. All right, so now we gotta look at that. So the cost of the program, we gotta put 27. So here we will put 27. And what we're gonna do, this is page 31. Go here, put 31. Now, tuition, total tuition for each course. That's gonna be 27A. So go here, total tuition right here, 27A, page 31. So we will put 31 right there, books and supplies. So we gotta go look for that and that's gonna be 27B. Book supplies right here, 27B. And that's on page 31. So you put 31 right here. All fees separately, 27C. Okay, so we'll put go here, 27C, it's page 31. So go back here, type 31. Other costs, that's going to be 27D. Okay, so we'll go here and we will put. 27D. Scoot this down a little bit. 27D. And that's on page 31. So page 31 right here. Now, payment methods, that's going to be on that page. So we're going for 27E. Let's go here. Here are the payment methods. 27E. It's on page 31. All right, now let's go here and we'll put page 31. Scroll on to the next page. All right, now competency base, NA. Verification of student identity, NA. They don't have distance learning. They only have one school, so they don't have multiple locations. So that's going to be NA. Any pictures of the physical facilities must be captured to identify the particular institution depicted. That's NA. Members of headquarters. They don't have multiple locations, so that's NA. All right. They don't have multiple locations, like I said, so that's NA. And they only have one catalog, so this is NA. Okay, so now everything matches up. So now what we would do, we would put this in our ISS and we would bookmark it. So now if you have any questions or concerns about this DACA's checklist for the catalog, you're gonna to have to do a checklist for your enrollment agreement, um, the leave of absence policy, withdrawal, so all of those policies, you will have to do uh, the NACAS checklist. And then you're going to have to download it and then upload it to your ISS, your institutional self-study. And you're going to have to put it in the proper place in the ISS and then make sure you put a bookmark for each one of those. If you have any questions, concerns, need help, remember, email me at barbara at gmail.com or you can shoot me a text and just say school. 
615-496-3977 or say ISS. So that's 615-496-3977. I hope you all learned a lot from this. Most of the ISS that we complete, they're anywhere from three to 400 and something pages long, but the team just saves you a lot of time, energy, and money. Any revisions you need, reach out to the team. Thank you. Continue to watch our YouTube page. You may want to join our program. Hey, we just make it easy for you. Have a great day.